All right, so this problem says when water freezes, its volume increases by 9%. What force per unit area is water capable of exerting on a container when it freezes? Okay, so somebody look up the bulk modulus for water. Bulk modulus. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, this is actually quite a good problem. Um, so take a container, fill it with water, and let it freeze overnight. So what the problem is saying is uh, uh, ice is less than less dense, dense than water. How do you know that? Huh? Floats. Float. Yep. So the volume of ice is 9% greater. Okay. So, I mean, the ice would want to bust out of this container. And so to keep the ice in, the container is exerting a force inward. Okay. All right. You look at the, the bulk modulus formula. It's force per unit area. Okay. This is pressure divided by negative. Okay. So, what did you do? What did this force do? It reduced the volume of ice by nine percent <coughs> to keep it within the container. Right? So the volume decreased by 9%. This was the, and the negative sign meaning since the volume change was negative, negative or negative was positive. Okay. You guys following this? So shoot, ask a question. This is a very good problem. I'll tell you a story behind it. becomes ice but compressed okay so here is a con if there was no container what well, the ice would just expand okay so if if the container is strong enough what it is doing is it's pressing down on ice and has decreased its volume so we are assuming a strong enough container yep you'll see in a second that's why it's a beautiful problem yep No, this is the bulk modulus formula. This is the stress. This is the strain. All right. Hmm? No, that's it. All right. Uh, so bulk modulus is force per unit area. And this is 0.0905, okay? So force per unit area that, that is exerted by the container is 0 0.0905 times the bulk modulus.
All right, so here's why I wrote this like that. So this is one atmospheric pressure. So the force, the pressure that the container is exerting is 1800 atmospheres. You guys, anybody know what is one atmospheric pressure? I'm sorry? You tell me whatever unit, except for the Pascals. <laughs> it's 10 to the Okay, uh, it's also 15 pounds per square inch. So to <coughs> keep the ice in place, it has to apply a force of 1800 times 15 pounds. Okay, so. Okay, so now let's make sense of this. Uh, what is the weight of one person? Now you guys know 150 pound person. 150 pound times uh, 100 would be 15,000. 200 people sitting on every square inch is what will keep the ice together. From, from expanding? Or from expanding. That's right. All right. So that's an enormous pressure. Now I'll tell you the story. Let me stop the recording. Okay. What's that? Yeah, but the story will involve diagram. Okay. All right. So, so when ice ex when ice forms, it exerts enormous pressure. Okay. And people knew about this. Uh, in the old days of old. So for instance, if you had to crack a piece of wood that was hard to crack, what you do is, uh, so here's a log. You make a crack in the log, or uh, I guess fill it with water, and when water freezes overnight, it pushes on the crack and cracks it up. You can do the same thing in quarries you want to break off a slab of marble, and uh, Vito, you'll read this in Michelangelo's biography. Yeah, so they, you put a groove down there and pour water in the groove, and overnight it freezes and you get a nice slab that breaks off. Right. Yeah, yeah and you can't do this in Florida. So. <laughs> So, well, yeah, so, anyway. So, but the point is, the pressure is enormous. 